So I was Dan Moss, Dan Moss from Manor, and uh, just giving an amazing tour. Can you walk me through what we're looking at here? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we'll start with the drone. We'll start with the aircraft. Um, so here we have the operational aircraft, as we heard. Um, it's got its nice bright lights on. Uh, we have the green and the red. And this is the full size, 25 kilos, um, to deliver your packages. Um, the package. And this is an opera. This is an operation one or a. Tech this one. is a demo. This is a demo, a demo one. Just a demo so this, one. this one we can fold up nice and small so we can show oh, it on so a table. So what can't you do on the? You can't it's fold not, up the. Uh, it's the not. Yeah, it's not got any. The avionics bay we have on show here, but we don't have one built in, so we wouldn't be able to fly this one. Sure. Okay. Um, the package would be placed in what we call a cassette. So this is the battery housing, and this is kind of the delivery mechanism. So you can lift it up. It's uh, so a good bit said, of weight. Is that the battery for the aircraft? Correct. That's the main so battery. So every time you get a new package, yep. you're getting a new battery Correct. for sure. And does that have a GPS or anything that keeps alive? Or do you keep the GPS alive in the machine another way? Yeah, correct. So we have uh, a hot hold battery. Um, and that's like within the, the main part of the aircraft. Yeah. And then we have a further redundancy uh, in a battery for the independent parachute system okay. oh you said parachute. that's just what i was going to say Nick. so where's the parachute? it's not on here so oh, it's not on there. Uh, okay. it would be uh on the bum it would be at the back right. um but uh because it's a pyrotechnic um device it's bit, easier so, to yeah. just leave it off and, and out of the way then no one can stop us at the border and you you're just being playing greedy with the number of cubes that you use you don't care no, you don't trust them. We uh, so we actually find that the cube and um, the the software, the Audi Pilot software, is actually some of the most reliable in our entire system. Uh, but to meet the no single failure um, case yeah. for the regulators, um, we run three of them, um, and then we kind of do a, a vote on the output for the motors. Um, so they all think they're flying, but only one of them will ever be in control of of the motors in the aircraft. So, so, so this is the bottom of the aircraft, it seems. Correct, yeah, so we can see it, uh, it's the same oh, one as, uh, as just okay. under there. So is that, if I turn this over, it is? Oh, yeah. Is, that, is this a different... That's um, a different flavour, so we, we've changed uh, a few things, and then again we have another revision of this. Um, this one's kind of the, a few years old, this one's still a couple of years old, um, and a kind of part of our presentation where we were just showing the whole, the whole journey. Um, no. I know you just you just turn them 90 degrees in software. Yeah. But I don't know. <laughs> Having them mounted 90 off, it just just offends my Something a bit wrong. Yeah. But doesn't it? Uh, I, well, no, no, I'm sure. So we, we. But you're almost, you're almost introducing um, some errors, but of course there's a production aircraft. So yeah, like we we're saying, all the parameters are controlled and configuration controlled. So. Um, we've gone through. I've made those mistakes. I've done the hard lessons. Uh, Yes, those those learn those mistakes have been learnt, um, yeah. and we've we've now got like automatic checks and system checks that can automatically de detect that. So what size motors are these? Uh, I think they're eighty five kV um, T motors uh, off the shelf. We try and use off the shelf parts um, in our streamlined, speedy, adaptable kind of way of life. Insert buzzwords here. Yes. <laughs> uh, we, yeah, we just try and be as quick as we can to develop. Um, we're using, yeah, we're using the, the T-Motor ones and the same same props. Uh, we have some different ones in testing uh, for lower noise because um, noise is always a big uh, conversation point. So how many iterations of the aircraft is this? Is this is this version number three point one? So, no, so this is uh, technically three eight three. Okay. So three point eight. So we've done. We went through one and two very quickly, um, and we're now tweaking the the third the the third iteration of the aircraft. Um, so if you see any of our pictures, probably from operations over the last few years, it'll be this kind of rough body shell. We tried a few different legs. Actually, we're like. No, we'll revert to the simple stalks, um, and the same with the motors uh, and the lights um, and the coverings. And uh, well, I can't believe that any, anybody that comes to us has not heard of Manor. But you are—I mean, 
to all intents and purposes, is the most successful, I think, home delivery uh, uh, company in the world. So do you think you're, you're, you're close to, what I want to say here, are you close to where, you, where you're at with the airframe? Yeah. And now it's the delivery part. Of the yeah, I, or are you... I, de I definitely say so. So like we, for the last mile space, definitely one of the most complex um, delivery services out there. Um, I'd love to say the largest in the world, but uh, we're doing hundreds of thousands of deliveries. Like we've got a lot of hours. Um, so in the last like 12 months or so, it's about 40 to 50,000 orders. Um, but that's between uh, the US, Ireland and uh, Finland. And you, how many hours, flying hours? Is that oh, it's quite a lot. Um, I'd say, I think it's around 15,000 hours um, of flight time. So we've flown enough that it's been to the moon. If you were in equivalence. <laughs> we uh, and the, um, you said in the talk that yes. this had an aerodynamic effect. Correct, yes. Does it? Really? So we, so we have, uh, it's about a, I don't know, a 15 degree pitch. So when we're flying, uh, if I was able to get around and lift up the back, your food would be yeah. flying flat. Um, and that just means that we're kind of pushing along. Um, and we actually weather vane um, as we're flying. So we might not always be facing forward uh, or in the direction oh, of travel. Okay. So, yeah, so we okay. get that extra benefit. Um, we'd love to slim everything down a bit. So we're at the 25 kilo limit. Um, we'd like to slim it down so that will give us a bigger payload. Um, but again, it's not a major concern. Um, it's just little things that we want to tweak as we go along. It was, it was a fantastic um, talk earlier, Thank you. Dan. I would encourage anybody uh, watching to find the Archer Pilot live stream and get get yourselves uh, watching that. And I'll, uh, so thank you very much. Nice. And I'll probably come and ask you some more questions. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> thank you very much.